Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Scorpio this is your reading for the 14th to the 20th of September 2020 and I hope you are well welcome cyber angels and new viewers there is a special offer on so please if you would like to have an extended reading book an extensive reading or if you want to give it as a Christmas present to somebody then buy it now and they can book it later I'll give you a code and that they can use okay it might be just a nice idea for Christmas okay now I'm using the transparent tarot because uh, I love it and it, I'm going to make a film for you this week they won't be lying next to each other they will be overlapping because I'll be layering in a different way so the story will come alive visually for you okay now you can take it as Monday Wednesday and Friday and then Saturday Sunday and the outcome card but I would say let the story flow go with the flow Scorpio after all you are a water sign now if you know the tarot and if you can already see what the cards are then you know they're not the pretty scary cards to look at separately okay as we open up the week with the seven of swords somebody is leaving hastily running away they might have taken something that doesn't belong to them okay he's got an armful of swords four usually it's five and leaves two behind this could mean a broken heart or literally physically taken something from you okay or they might not have wanted a confrontation and were sneaky and left the scene okay well I hope it is not the case but if so there could be this could be arising so forewarned is forearmed so be prepared so don't just focus what is happening in front of you focus what is happening around you be careful of sneaky and untrusty untrustworthy people there is also the page of swords which is Aquarius it could be an Aquarius bringing you news or it could be just general news it could also be official news as it is the swords and the swords stand for institution municipalities and wisdom and communication perhaps somebody in a, from a municipality wants to communicate with you with for example um, the dull money or sickness benefit or a tax return now the times have been pretty busy and pretty harsh on you as you have the nine of wands 
you are tired you are finished with the negativity you want to give up and I say don't you've come so far you have left the sneaky people perhaps behind perhaps this happened in the past because this is lying in the past if I was doing a reading for the querent okay and this is now and this is in the future you can see it that way as well but I've had fantastic readings up to now and they make a lot of sense once the cards are all together so separately you've got the nine of ones you're tired you want to give up you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel you're taking a rest now and you're leaning on one staff or one wand so take that rest that is the advice as well think what you would do if you had money or time or whatever no more problems no more issues what would you do what would you like to do to start off with because a nine is an ending and the new beginning is around the corner so take time out to contemplate if not meditate that will bring answers and evaluate the situation at hand then we go on to your fourth card and I'm laying it on top of the two cards this will connect the two cards and bring the story to a uh, uh, next level okay now you can see here you have the wheel of fortune okay the wheel of fortune these cards are fairly new to me so I have to get used to them as well um, because they are quite severe in their description and details so that you can see what's happening around with the other cards and that you can layer them okay sorry you've got the world um, I get I'm getting mixed up with the wheel of fortune sorry well you can see all the colors of the chakra here and also of the rainbow so heaven and earth are uh, combined connected so somebody from up there is um, holding your back like I said somebody's holding your back or covering your back that is the best better English sorry for my English but I am bilingual so somebody is covering your back karma is coming back to you if somebody's done you wrong they will get it back threefold okay don't worry like I said give your worries to the divine they will organize it and here they are showing they've got your back you will get if you've somebody's done you wrong three times they will get the karma threefold and you will get your karma so you will get threefold good back you will get good results you will get justice okay so don't worry something is coming to an end your worries are coming to an end it is confirming the nine of ones okay also I'm hearing from somebody from beyond don't worry so much we have your back so do the angels and the divine so the Holy Trinity okay that could be your parents it could be uh, your grandmother or your grandfather or both because there's multiple colors here but we've got the page of swords bringing you news and this is going to be positive news there is a new beginning and it's going to be a better beginning clarity justice will prevail okay now you've got this the sign of the sword here in the middle of the world right and that's the sign of the cards and that is quite unique in the center so justice will be done victory will be yours okay you might go up to the next level in business 
or at work or in a relationship. Wow, that is also an other meaning. Now, I do not sort out the cards. They get mixed automatically, upside down, sideways, back to front, because I shovel them. And look at this. What do you see? The Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups means that this is an ending. It goes, this grey line of the card goes straight through the middle. You are celebrating again with family and friends. Yahoo! And celebrations are here. What you have lost will be returned to you, or the injustice that is done to you will become clear. You will have victory, like I said. And now the end of the reading, to close the reading, we have the Emperor. And if you follow me, then you know what the Emperor means. So, the Emperor is a mature man, okay? Could also be a professional man, like a lawyer, like uh, a judge, like a doctor, uh, like a real estate agent. It could be about property, that somebody has pinched your property or something from your property because we've got houses here and flats and high rises the city okay so you might be seeking justice so there could be a judge that you will judge on your case or you will seek help from an advocate so that the truth will prevail and come out which I think will, because it's the center point. Wow. There you go. Justice will be done. Look at this. This is the news. The page is also in the card of the emperor. And the emperor is lying in the center of the world. The world is yours. You might be celebrating again in the city. Perhaps you might have had a restaurant uh, or a bar um, as a job or uh, a business and it had to be closed down by because of the COVID. Yeah? So somebody took your income away. That could be the city, the uh, municipalities, because we've got the emperor. But now the justice will be done. You can open up again and people can come to your business uh, in the city. Okay. Yes, I think that is it. The, there will be celebrations. The difficult times are over. People can come back together again. Like the city is crowded, so that's why I say people. Not just family and friends, but people. And you will find what you have lost. It will be returned to you most probably by the authorities. Okay, now let's have a look. Like I said, you've got the Page of Swords news. And I said you might get news from municipalities or institutions. Well, this is to bear clarify that is also authorities and institutions. Wow. I love it when the cards come together. <laughs> I love it. So there will be celebrations big time. Wow. Ending of difficulties. So be open. Give your stress and worries to the divine as they are over at the end of the week. Emotion number eight. So that's the eight of cups. You want adventure, excitement, new beginnings. And she's this angel's holding a map and you've been strategically uh, planning things I think that's the feeling that I'm getting and you've been trying to move on but you were just about to give up but don't that's the warning time to make that positive move forward okay towards something good well the new beginning is definitely there with the nine of wands and the world and the celebrations. 
ask for help from others. Yes, seek advice because you've got the emperor from a father figure or an older man or a professional if you feel that you have been done wrong. Stand up for your rights and for what you may have lost. I hope you've enjoyed this reading, uh, Scorpio. Take care and stay safe. Please like and share and have a wonderful week. Good news is on its way. Music